Hey guys, good morning. <laughs> it's 10.30, I am like exhausted and I'm so annoyed that I'm really exhausted because I feel like I am always tired. Like you guys saw my weekend, I literally didn't do anything. Like I left the house two times this weekend, like for two outings, I went to lunch on Saturday and then I went out to a friend's yesterday. Like, I should not be this exhausted. Like, I feel like I'm an 80 year old woman in a 24 year old's body. Like, I'm just perpetually so tired all the time. Like, right now, I feel like I could sleep for 11 hours and it's not enough. Like, and I slept really well last night. Like, I went to bed at literally 10.30 and I woke up at seven. And I'm so exhausted and just like totally drained and so, like slow moving today like i woke up edited vlogmas and then i started the vlog so you guys have been seeing everything that i've been doing this morning just like housekeeping things getting myself ready this is also a different sweatshirt and sweatpants even though they're black and gray they are different <laughs> um and i'm gonna take some time this morning to plan normally i have a meeting on monday mornings but we moved it to tomorrow and that actually works really really great because i have some other things that I was like going to be pressed on time for but now I have time today to do them so that's really awesome so it's all like working great but I'm just very annoyed at how tired I always feel so I really going into 2023 want to look very much so into my diet because I feel like that is going to be the solution to why I'm feeling tired um, and let me just give a very brief background and then we'll get into the day but in like from 2017 until the end of 2020 I Really like 2018 to 2020 for like those two years. I had Like I suffered a lot from binge eating and I was never like diagnosed with it, but I mean I feel like it's pretty easy to see when you have it. So I just was binge eating all the time. I was trying to diet all the time and it was all documented on my YouTube and like I was just like so silently struggling and didn't know it slash thought I knew it slash thought I was helping myself but I was just spiraling and it was just really not good. So I really suffered with like my relationship with food in that time and it was just horrendous. And I was like the heaviest I've ever been and people were commenting on my weight and this that all these other things And it was also COVID. So it was just like a tough time anyway um, Then at the end of 2020 I stopped binge eating and There are like I think there's several different reasons as to why I was kind of able to just stop it but also I just totally switched my whole relationship with food and now I eat whatever I want, whenever I want, and I don't restrict myself whatsoever, which is great. Except I feel like maybe it's now catching up to me because even though I'm like at a pretty, what I think healthy weight for me, like I don't try to diet, I don't try to lose weight. I work out like four to five times a week. Like I feel like I'm in a good like movement relationship mindset food mentality sort of thing but i feel like it's now catching up to me because whatever foods i'm eating i feel like are just making me so tired all the time to the point where i'm just like always exhausted so i really want to focus into going into 2023 like eating foods that will give me energy and fuel me and just feel my best and really now taking the relationship i have with food where it's not about losing weight toning up it's not about like appearance it's about how it should make you feel i want to feel good from the food that i'm eating so i am trying that um and i think also like when it comes to making dinners i'll just make dinners that like seem fun or i know will like taste good and i forget that like a staple dinner could be like salmon rice a vegetable and like an avocado you know what i mean like it should be these whole foods and like while i'm having a lot of fun cooking like these fun recipes like they're literally all with like heavy cream and cheese and like just very 
heavy hearty foods so this week I'm trying to just keep it like pretty simple with my foods pretty whole food oriented it's like I'm not cutting out anything I'm just trying to buy whole foods and eat whole food <laughs> instead of like super processed foods and just see how that makes me feel I'm getting pedicures today at two o'clock with my mom and grandma which I'm excited for I desperately need a pedicure so um, that's in like three and a half hours so I have some things to do before then and then I'm teaching spin tonight at five so I'm just gonna take the time to plan until my groceries get here but I'm excited and I'll show you guys what I'm eating today because what I'm eating today I'm just like gonna do every day I just want to keep it simple and not like keep doing crazy things oh I forgot to mention I'm using the manifest planner digital I'm currently using the mid-year 2022 dated edition but starting in two weeks I'm gonna use the new digital dated 2023 edition all available on the manifest planner.com So much cheaper ordering produce from Aldi than it was from Wegmans. I normally just get everything at Wegmans, but I ordered all this stuff from Aldi and it was $33, which is such a good deal. So I got Dave's Killer Bread knockoff. It looks exactly the same, um, but I got that. That's my favorite kind of bread. And I want sandwiches this week. I got chopped kale, strawberries, blueberries, these are avocados. I got zucchini. Oh, wow. I got a lot of zucchini. I got turkey bacon. Um, protein yogurt, which it's funny because it's an all yogurt protein, but I just got this one because it's vanilla. And I got pineapple. So for breakfast today, I'm having these egg muffin frittatas that I made with my mom last week now what was i about to say i don't remember i technically don't need the avocado because there's a lot of cheese already in the egg thing so that's like a lot of fat but fat is definitely going to keep me full and i know that fat is really good for my brain like i could put the avocado on a piece of bread but i think i just want it whole today oh you know what I also just got these pickled onions. I'm like obsessed with pickled onions. So I'm gonna put some of that on my avocado too. I got those from Wegmans. And then just like a little bit of hot honey. I think will be so good. Maybe that's weird, I don't know. Looks kind of weird, but I don't think it's gonna be weird. And then a couple of mango spears. I was eating mango last night. I'm like, man, this is so good. This is my breakfast this morning. Mango, egg frittatas, and avocado. I just had like a literal freak out on camera, so I'm gonna delete that clip and not be a psycho. Um, I don't know why I decided to freak out. I'm just like in a mood. I don't even know why. But I am at the nail salon. My grandma is in town, like I've said, like I feel like a million times, but my grandma's in town. And whenever we're in town, she loves getting pedicures. So me and my mom and my grandma are going to get pedicures right now. I'd love to see yours. 
when it is filled out. Okay, I can show it to you when it's filled out. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have enough in my life to fill out something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could have wrote today you went grocery shopping. We went grocery shopping. Yes, I no, could say didn't. that. Yeah. And grocery and shopping, a pedicure, pedicure. And color on my feet, which hasn't, they haven't been colored for three years. Well, do you just want to get nothing on them? Clear I, coat? I decided I might as well. Okay. It's pretty neutral, but. And then tonight, are you going to watch a movie or something? With my, yeah, with my feet barefoot so that I can look at my toes. So then you could write all that down. <laughs> That's right. So you have a pretty full day. I've got a really full day. Just got back from pedicures. Pedicures, that's so weird. Pedicures, and um, I'm gonna make a quick lunch. I'm gonna get ready for a spin in about 20 minutes. So I have kale in this bowl, and I'm just putting some olive oil on it. And just massage this kale down. And for my actual sandwich, I have two pieces of bread. These are so tiny, these little pieces of bread. They're so cute. Okay, so I have caramelized hummus. Caramelized onion hummus. This is like the best. But this is going to be really good because I just made the playlist tonight. And I guess I'm like in a mood because it's very like fast. <laughs> it's like... Fast and furious tonight. I have a little bit of ham to use up. And then I have some American cheese to finish up and some pickled onions. By the way, the pickled onions this morning on my sandwich or on the avocado were so good. Okay, this is like way too big of a sandwich for this little of bread. There's lunch at 4.15. I might have like royally effed myself by not doing laundry today when I should have. <gasps> no, I didn't, but I will if I don't do laundry tomorrow. So make sure I do my laundry tomorrow. When I'm editing this, Tori, do your laundry today. You're gonna need it. I'm like really in the mood to wear not black today. Normally we wear all black when we're instructing or you wear like stride colors, which is red. So I do have this red, but I don't know if I feel like wearing like this. I think I do over black. I really don't feel like wearing black. <laughs> I swear my whole wardrobe is like a variation of stride sweatshirts. But you know what? What are you gonna do? Thank God I put on self tanner this morning because otherwise I would just look so dead. Don't get me wrong, I definitely do look a little dead, but not like as bad as I would look. Hang on, I need to change. Hey guys, um, so yeah, last I vlogged, I was at the studio talk class, um, and then I left and my friend Rachel, slash one of my instructors, um, came over for a while. She lives like out of town, so she came over and we just like caught up and had girl time, um, and I just like made us dinner and that was just like really nice to do. Um, off camera. I feel like with the vlogmas, I've been like vlogging like everything So that was nice to just like take a break even though it was just like for dinner To be able to just like not feel like I needed to film it um, But it was just great girl time catching up. We had salmon zucchini and rice and I feel really great right now So I was kind of like grumpy all day. I don't know if you guys could tell but I was like kind of grumpy today and just like in a mood and there were some clips that I filmed today that I'm definitely just cutting out of the vlog entirely because I was just in a pissy mood. So um, 
I immediately felt better after spin class and even better after just like hanging out with like Rachel. And it just reminds me that like, I just need to like make time every day for a little bit of movement, even if it's just a walk. Like I always just feel so much better. Now I'm going to bed and it's actually really late, it's like midnight. Rachel didn't leave until like 11. I'm just getting up to bed, so it's like pretty late, but tomorrow will be fun. Um, making cookies tomorrow, I have a meeting tomorrow morning, and I'm going to stride tomorrow night. So, be a good day tomorrow. And yeah, thanks so much for watching Vlogmas Day 20. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye.